this is not hyperbole. Our next guest is the Tom Brady of stain removal. <laughs> Wine, no problem. Coffee, no problem. Mustard, no problem. We couldn't think of a better person for today's show. Give it up for the laundry guy, Patrick Richardson, everybody. Hello, my friend. Hi. Okay, now originally, and I said in that tease over there, we are gonna do baby stains because of uh, Kendall. Uh, Kendall's pregnant, getting ready to have a baby, but because this is our debut in Chicago, I love that you did this. <laughs> These are Chicago land stains. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just make a switch on the fly. No, but, I love it. Okay, you know, so where happens. are we starting? Well, we're gonna start with pizza because, you know, Chicago pizza. Hello. I mean, Gino's East. Right, you know. I so, love you, Gino's East, mm -hmm. yes. We both do, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's actually really simple. The problem with it is it's oily and, you know, there's that, so there's the oil and the tomato. And if you don't do it in this order, the stain will never come out. So it's kind of specific. Oh, it's specific to the order. Right. You okay. have to do it. So this is vinegar and water. And you spray the vinegar and water on the stain. Okay. And then you blot it. And so you blot it first, and what happens is that breaks the surface tension of the oil, and then you just take soap and a brush and scrub, and it'll come right out. But if you don't spray the vinegar on first, it almost acts, the oil almost acts like a barrier and never lets the stain come out. So you can just scrub this, and see, you can already see it. I mean, it's already just lifting, and it'll just come right out. I never, I... Yeah, so you can clap. I never... I never thought about the situation of the oil almost being like a force field. Yeah, it's like a force yeah. field. It's, you make it so much better. I'm more a sci-fi guy. I like Star yeah. Wars. No, yeah, it's yeah. so much better that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's next? So the next one is mustard because I learned in Chicago that you only put mustard on a hot dog. You only put, yes, yes. A Chicago dog, absolutely. Yes. I did not know, and I was informed. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So Do not ask for ketchup on a hot I, dog in Chicago. No, no. I now know. Yeah. So um, I learned. <laughs> so it's actually really simple. You sprinkle on some baking soda, and then you squeeze on a lemon or a lime. Really? Yep. And see, it's like bubbling. So it's just going to go away. So, so I have another use for my lime other than my vodka soda? Right, well. <laughs> You know, actually, right. <laughs> half for vodka, half for the mustard. But yeah, it's see, such a handy fruit. Right. Yeah. It'll just, well, me too. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> me three. Right, there we go. Yeah. Hi, 700 Club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. So the next one, this really wasn't Chicago-y, but I, I, it always happens when I'm on the plane. It's chocolate. Okay. And chocolate is, it's another really tough stain. This is actually rubbing alcohol. Oh. And yeah, so it's like rubbing alcohol that, you know. See, yeah. that would scare me. I think people at home are going, oh my goodness, I'm not going to spray rubbing out. Does it doesn't matter if it's a color? Oh, no, it'd be fine on a color. Okay, take yeah, it away. It's totally color safe. And then it will just blot off. And what you actually do is give it a couple of sprays and then just blot it. And it just, see, it'll just come off. And if we toss this in the washer, it's just going to come right out. Rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the next one was Italian beef, which is one of my favorites. I love Italian beef. I do. I love Italian beef. So, and you just spray it with vinegar and water. We don't do anything. You just spray it and toss it in the washer. That's and it? It's done. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's that oil and the vinegar just cuts right through it. Because you, you've given the advice before, as Patrick's been here before on, on his show, the, the things you should always have in your laundry room are what? Vinegar and water, rubbing alcohol, and vodka. <laughs> and I've got a word. lime. So yeah, and a lime. If, yeah, you know. and a lime. Yeah. So the next one was grass stains because I actually was thinking of Lollapalooza. Okay. So it's grass stains. And grass, this is um, just oxygen bleach in some water. And remember, oxygen bleach is completely color safe. That's always a big question, but you just dip it in. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn color. See how it turned like 
it's sort of acidy green. Yeah. Once it turns color, toss it in the washer and it'll just wash out. The key to oxygen bleach, this works on red wine, like red wine turns bright blue. Yeah, did you guys hear that? Red wine turns bright blue if you use oxygen bleach. Yeah, yeah. so it'll turn color, but once you see the chemical reaction happen, feel free to just toss it in the washer and it's going to come right And the washer out. will do the rest of the work. Yep, okay, we have one more. We have last but not least, if you've been walking around all day yeah. and your sneakers are not as fresh as they once were, yeah. you can spray them with vodka. So, vodka will remove the odor from anything. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's lunch. Yeah. <laughs> but you just spray vodka okay. in, and vodka removes the odor from anything. So, you just spray it in and let it dry, and that's it. Oh, it's not vodka water, it's just vodka. It's just vodka. It's just straight vodka. You know what I'm thinking, audience. I'm just saying, yeah. I, because I did this at home, I, okay, I misunderstood the last time. I did a water, a 50-50 vodka water yeah. mix, no. No, it's just, just straight vodka. Yeah. And it would also be great, like, um, you know, like, on the, if the dog sits on the sofa, I mean, car seats, whatever. Campfire. Anything. Yeah. You can spray it with vodka. And the great thing about vodka is when it dries, it's odorless and colorless. So it's unique that, like, I mean, I can spray it on me, and when it's dry, it's completely gone. <laughs> More with Patrick when we come back. Back in a moment. <laughs> with the laundry guy, Patrick, and he's answering some of your questions on our Jason Show Facebook page. First up is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. She says, I like to air dry sweaters and sweatshirts, but they become stiff during the drying. Is there a way to soften them without using liquid softener? Um, <laughs> there's a couple of things. The first one is I'm guessing there's too much detergent in there. So maybe put some vinegar in where the fabric softener would go. But the other thing is when you take it out of the washer before you hang it up to dry, like give it a snap, like grab it and like literally like shake it. And what that does is it actually resets the fiber. So when you hang it up, it'll be softer. Oh, oh, because because again, I always like you to repeat some of your 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 greatest hits. America uses too much detergent. Oh, they? way too much detergent. Way. I mean, it's just like, you know, the cup says this much for a full load and yeah. this much for a small load. We need to go to that much. We need to go to about two tablespoons. Did you know that? Two tablespoons. Detergent. Yeah. And that's a full load. That's a full load. Next is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Is oxygen bleach the same as OxyClean? This is a question I get all the time. Sort of. The active ingredient in OxyClean is oxygen bleach. It also has washing soda and borax in it. Usually, there's a couple of brands and they change. Um, it works, just use a little more than what I said. Like here I'm saying a tablespoon. If you're gonna use OxyClean, use about three tablespoons. But I would encourage you, like use it up. I mean, for heaven's sakes, don't waste it. Yeah. But when you're done, go to 100% sodium percarbonate. That's 100% oxygen bleach. Yeah, and where, can you find it anywhere? Um, like co-op, co-op, hardware stores, that kind of thing. Amazon probably would have it. Uh, yeah, so definitely. Yeah. Uh, finally, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. He, uh, Carrie asks if Patrick could go through the basics of laundry for young adults just starting out. Like, what products should I use? Uh, how do you separate clothes? What should you add to the washing machine? Uh, Carrie, the show is only a half hour. I mean, sir, we have a half hour. I mean, <clears throat> all right. So I would buy a plant-based detergent and know that I'm gonna use less than what the lid says. Yeah. I would buy color catchers. You can buy them in the grocery store. They're little flat sheets because to be honest with you, a young person starting out is not gonna sort their laundry. You should sort your laundry, but we know they're not. So throw in a color catcher because what it does is it grabs the excess dye. So if you throw in the red shirt and the white shirt, 
the red won't bleed onto the white. Got so, color catchers. Color catchers. You can buy them at the grocery store. You can buy them, you know, discount store, wherever. They're fantastic. Okay. The last thing I would do is I would buy some wool balls so, because I don't like fabric softener. I don't like dryer sheets. I know you don't. So those three things would be a great starting. Oh, and my book. You should also buy my book. <laughs> um, it's what it, here it is. So. <laughs> I mean, he yeah. just happens to have a copy right here. I actually, it's funny, I actually brought that by mistake. And although it worked out, but you, sh you know, really those three things are what you should Right have. there. You should have this book. Give it up for Patrick, everybody. You can watch The Laundry Guy on Max or Discovery Plus and visit his website, laundryevangelist.com and get the book. We're going to take a break. What happens when we hit the streets of Chicago to find out what you are most excited about, about a show you've never heard of before, you'll see when we return back in a moment. Laundry Love. Oh God, that was good.